Right, something a bit different today. Not the usual gadgety gadget, but this is a leaf blower stroke vacuum. We have got a huge conquer tree outside our house, uh, well in our garden, and it drops a lot of leaves come autumn. So, gonna do a review on it and see what it's like. Know nothing about these, have no experience at all, walked into a massive DIY chain, B&Q. They offered three, one was a Bosch, one was Ryobi, one was some other cheapo make. Uh, this was 78 pounds, I believe, something like that, around about 80 pounds anyway. The other ones were a bit cheaper, 10 pounds and then 30 quid less uh, for the cheapest one. What won me over with this was, it says 3000 watts on the side of the box. I thought that's a powerful motor. Um, and not only that, it's got a metal blade for when it mulches or cuts up the leaves. So, that would indicate that the other ones have got plastic, which I'd never even considered until I read the fact that it had metal. I thought, metal's going to be very plastic, surely, for longevity. So let's go with that. So that's what I've gone with, and I've also had power tools, Ryobi power tools, and they're still going now, 15 years later. So I, so I thought, I can't go far wrong. Ah, no, leave. Sit. Right, let's go outside and test. One thing I didn't mention is it is electric and I haven't got a mic so if the volume's not very good, sorry about this, but anyway. So it needs to be plugged into the mains. There was a petrol one, but I wasn't going on that route. I can't get bothered with that. Full start in it. A tube thing. Well, that's built, it's fairly simple. Instructions are self-evident, really. Um, you've got a carry handle strap, which I'm not gonna bother putting on, which you could sling over your shoulder if you wanted to. You've got vacuum and a blower. And simple as that, nice big clunky switch. You've also got speed control here. So you can turn it up and down on the fly, fast or slow, or more suction, less suction, I guess. Test that in a second. The ha handle to hold it, make it easier. And you've got any wheels on the front. It takes the weight and obviously the bag clips in just there. It goes over and slots in quite nicely. And that'll fill up. So let's just go and test this. I mean, there's not a lot to it really, is there? And um, that folds out of the way. You could have that off if it was just a blower. This is obviously the vacuum section. It blows it into here and there's metal blades within there. And it pushes it up, spits it out down here into the bag or you could just have the blower, which is that section there. And you can actually remove this and put that back down and clip it into place. But it's out of the way, that cover at the moment. It does nothing like that, basically. And that's the motor unit. And here's the cable, which won't be long enough if you want to do your garden. So an important thing is you have got one that can cope with the wattage. So it's a 3000 watt motor, so you're gonna, with this running, I couldn't plug anything else really into it unless I wanted to trip it. I might get away with another 120 watts, but that'd be max, running maximum. Also recommend that you don't leave it wrapped up like this. You actually unravel it all, because 3000 watts is quite significant, and this would act as a coil and therefore heat up if you're running it for long periods of time. It doesn't stand up on its, uh, own, it'll just sort of fall over onto its side, which is a bit strange design. So that's the length of the cable, and according to the side of the box, it's eight meters of cable. But there's the specifications as well for you if you wanted to see them. Pulls it there if you want to double check against any other brand you're thinking of getting. So I reckon the best way of tackling it, um, and this is where all the dog poos, I'm going to clear it up every day. Uh, this is corner, this is his corner, effectively, you know, his poo corner. Um, so that's another thing. I'm kind of hoping it's going to blow the leaves away and leave the poo where it is being heavier, but it might just push it all around. Anyway, we'll see. That's a side point, because you certainly don't want to vacuum it up with poo in it, unless you want the bag to stink. Um, but this is a sort of, I mean it is, and that's the tree. 
it's a big old tree and there's loads of them up the road um, so I'm going to see how I get on with this Okay, right, the time has come to empty the bag. And as you can see, it's got a zip that runs around here. Um, so, just gonna go and empty that now. Pretty stuffed. Let's see how much it's mulched up. Um, it is not very powerful as a blower. Um, for the leaves that are here, um, it just does not blow them. <laughs> I think they've been left on the ground too long, um, as you can see. It started to rot the grass out anyway from where they've been left uh, but so I gave up blowing it instantaneously I tried it and went oh this isn't moving the leaves at all so and the vacuum works it does work and those wheels are quite useful because obviously this gets heavier and heavier and heavier the more you go on um, so yeah so rather than carrying the whole thing over I'm just going to unclip that pull it down and around and as you can see in there that's what it does, it chews them all up. Um, unhook the front one. Uh, you may have seen in the time lapse, I had that disconnected and then realized I should have had it connected. And let's go and empty them into our lovely DIY waste of time compost thing. It never composts whatever you do. They're pretty compact, but uh, let's try it. most of that right we have got another compost bin so I use that next time I think okay and to put it back in it's pretty straightforward you put that side over first doing it one-handed by the way is incredibly difficult uh, put that side over first and then this side comes back around and clips in just up into there if I could do it one-handed I would but it goes up into there there we go and then that part clips on to there, like so. So the, that's how loud it is. And there's the controls. Okay. But that's how loud it is. poor performance is due to the bag hanging so low so perhaps if I remove the bag let's try again so the blower comes out the bottom part and obviously not the top part <laughs> all right well you can see the amount that needs left to do um, so I'm gonna try and I'll film that again and see if I can tidy this up with just the blower into the corner there. It's going well. It is going well. Look at that. It's lovely. It's cut really nicely. Uh, but you can soon fill up some bins. Bear in mind, I've got this, I don't know, a month, a month into it being falling off the tree. But that's going to compost down lovely. Okay. Um, 
I'm not sure, but it just doesn't seem to be sucking up anymore. Oh, there's some of the bits there, it just fell out at the end. I can't hear it mulching it like it was doing, and not only that, it just does not appear... Stuff's just falling out at the end again. It just doesn't appear to be doing it. That's broken. It's not working. <laughs> okay, right, that's broken. Uh, right, the blower still works. The uh, vacuum part doesn't. Oh dear. Well, it's pretty pretty tidy. Didn't get to finish the job quite. Uh, right. Okay. Not sure what to say about that. I'll go and check the manual. See if it gets hot or something and it stops. No idea, not a clue. Okay, all right. Well, it's getting there. It was, it was doing a good job. Well, ish, it's doing a fairly good job. A lot of leaves have fallen down, so it was hard, you know, it's hard going. There's a lot of it, but I've only been doing it for 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, to all intents and purposes, it's not sucking it up properly anymore. Which is a bit of a shame, because that's why I bought it. Okay, and just to prove my point, taking the bag off, so it should spew at the bottom. Right, okay. <laughs> this hasn't gone very well. And this is its power as a blower. Pathetic. So my video review of the Ryobi leaf vacuum stroke blower is, don't bother, it's broken. It lasted around about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and now it doesn't suck it up anymore or anything. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll read the manual as a last ditch attempt to see if there's any weird safety feature or something you're supposed to do after 30 minutes of running. I think it's going to go back to the shop. Being the fair sort of guy I am, I'll probably ask him to replace it and I'll try again. And if it conks out again, then no chance. Well, the only part of the manual I can really find is about cleaning it before cleaning or clearing a blockage. Um, so what I'll do is I will take it apart and just have a quick look to see if there is a blockage in there. But I'm pretty sure there isn't. Um, but I will check that. Disconnected from the mains. Okay, there's a metal blade that we're talking about. And it spins, spins freely. No blockage, so that's all good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the car and I'm gonna put it in the boot. In you go. Always keep the boxes and then you can return stuff back to the store such a shame it's uh, a 30 minute drive away right well that's that saga over with i say if i do get another one which i might exchange it out if i do i will do another video but that's it for this video uh yeah that's why we do real life gadget reviews because uh you know helps all of us out <laughs> saves some of you wasted some money keep a look keep an eye out maybe the next week or so i'll have gone and exchanged it and then i'll do another video if, try again basically and see how long it lasts and then link it up to this video but if there's no link for it in the description i haven't done that because i haven't bothered so there you go thanks guys i hope this has helped anyway if you're thinking of getting a, a leaf mulcher stroke vacuum stroke blower uh like and subscribe cheers